not just soaking words off a page. It's it's a social thing. I, I you recommend a book to me, you're my buddy because I and, and we book clubs, book clubs all, that stuff. Yep. all that sort of stuff. Um, so here um, on the screen, you've got first of all, right off the bat, um, here I've got the books in my library that we can look at um, that I'm reading and so on. Um, I've got, for example, here. Um, I can come in and, and look at my, my groups, my reading groups and so on and so forth uh, around uh, my reading activities. And uh, we can do lots of other things like uh, other books I'm looking for, uh, recommendations and comments and so on and so forth. And that's all pretty cool. And we can come down and we can uh, come into a particular book and or, or a magazine or whatever, and I can pull out articles, I can take them across into my uh, favorites list, I can leap into them, and so on and so forth, and all the things that you would expect. But now I want to do is say one other thing. Um, at, at Microsoft Research, we have these two people in Cambridge, England, uh, Richard Harper and Abigail Sellen. They're social scientists. They've been studying reading. And it turns out that in nearly all cases, if you're not just recreational reading, you have two or three other documents open. You're taking notes. You want to do clipboards. So at work? Or I'm at work and so on and so forth. So a colleague, Ken Hakley, at uh, Microsoft Research, developed this little program called Inksane, which is um, basically uh, um, I can just take notes on the screen by drawing, right? Mm -hmm. So I've got a note taker here on the side. But what that means is that when I'm working through here, if I really like that photograph because I'm an art director, I can just grab it like so, and bingo, it pops up over here. And then I can come and sort of say, very cool. Um, um, but, but use. We can actually circle these things, search, and, and take all the stuff. So while you're reading, you can be scrapbooking, pulling things off, and it saves the citation, backlinks to, the, uh, to where you got it from. And so all of a sudden you have all integrated the ecosystem, the social ecosystem of both people, books, and appliances that let you realize your intent all together in the same. So it ties it together in a much more ties useful together. way. Absolutely. And, and this is a good example where the note taking, you need a pen, you can't finger paint. Um, Picasso had a paintbrush for a reason. All right, this wrap up, where's it going? You saw a little bit about this little puppy. Um, this is the libretto. It's from Toshiba. And it's, uh, it's a little notebook. Very cool. It's got two screens. It opens and closes like a regular book. And it's, again, you have the same copia reader here. These are prototypes. It's a prototype hardware. But we've been working on this uh, with the uh, with the VPL team. And uh, so it's the same thing. I've got the touch-enabled uh, stuff coming here. We have um, information about the books and notes and so on and so forth, commentary. Um, um, oh, it's my book. <laughs> doing a little plug here, Bill? <laughs> a little plug, you know. <laughs> Autograph sign later. And uh, so the book comes up, and all of a sudden it's like a book. It's a two-page reader. Uh -huh. And uh, we can uh, turn pages just like you would expect, back and forth. And we can uh, just come in and, and uh, highlight by just sweeping across areas if I want to highlight stuff. And if I want to take notes, I can just come up and, uh, and the, I've got a note place to take notes. And if I've got a little graphical keyboard, I can enter notes about what I'm doing. And again, this notion about how do we support not just something that puts words on a page, but basically respects and understands everything we know about how to read and what you do when you're reading, the activities associated with it. Bring them together. And here's the kicker. Connects it with everything else. We can only do this with partners.